Hey, it's Mark. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access Google Photos on a mobile phone, also on a desktop or laptop, PC, Mac, whatever. Um, you can do this on an Android device, which usually comes pre-installed if you have like a Pixel phone, or you can go to the Play Store um, right here, just search up Google Photos, click open. Um, on an iPhone, you just go to the App Store, you'll have to install the app which I recommend. This is one of my favorite apps. I use it literally every day. I'm taking pictures of everything. Um, it organizes them for you. You can create collages, videos, all sorts of cool things with it. So once you're in Google Photos, a couple things I wanted to point out is if you click on your profile image up top, you have a bunch of photos on your phone. You want to back them up into the cloud. You can just click free up space on your device. So I clicked this previously it's freeing up like 13.8 gigs that I had on here, um, which means those photos are now in the cloud or videos, I can access them from any device, just sign in. Um, also, look in the video description here on this video and we'll have links to find the app, also Google Photos website to just show you how to log in, make it really easy for you. Make sure you check the video description for those links. Um, so that's something useful, freeing up space. Other things I wanted to point out here, if you click on your profile image, um, there's backup options. So if you click backup here, um, I've got this toggled on, which means it's automatically backing up photos. If I take a photo on my phone, it'll just back them up to Google Photos automatically. So if I drop my phone in the sink or whatever, toilet, it gets ruined, I still have the photos because they're backed up in the cloud, which is nice. And if you want to change the backup quality of that, mine says original quality on there, you click on the gear settings and go down to backup quality down there at the bottom. So I've got original quality. You can do storage saver if you want so that that'll compress the videos and the photos. They still look good. They're still nice, but they're just not maybe as high of quality as the originals. Another thing to remember with Google Photos is you need to give the proper permissions to have Google Photos upload everything from your phone. So you may have to go into your settings on your phone. If you click in the photo settings there, right there, you click on apps right there, and then you're going to find Google Photos within the apps and look on permissions. So if you want Google Photos to be able to access photos, images from your contacts, music, photos, videos, etc. Just make sure you've got all those permissions. These are the ones allowed. On mine it says not allowed, calendar, location, notifications, etc. So make sure you have the proper permissions there on Google Photos too. So that's how you access Google Photos on your mobile phone. You get the app, you can change the storage, backup quality, etc. and then you can remove photos, videos from your phone, free up space there. Now hopping over to desktop, to access Google Photos, you just go to photos.google.com right there. And then you've got access to all your great photos in here like that. And to change, there's settings up here and you can look at original quality, storage saver. You know, if these are the plan settings, if I want to change from my two terabytes to something different, I could do that. I can manage storage, etc. And then on the left side, there's all these cool things sharing you can share them with anyone you want you can if you click on utilities right here you can create highlight videos animations collages all sorts of cool things you can you can even order physical photo books from google photos so all sorts of cool things you can do there remember the links to all of these the app google photos in the description of this video it's one of my favorite apps i love it i think it's the best photo app available if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.